This episode of Techzill is sponsored by Carbonite. Windows 8, Robert and I have been using it at work and at home for months, and frankly, I don't get a lot of the hate. I've also spent a lot of time learning Windows 8 shortcuts. You should, too. Uh, we'll put links to the show notes, but essentially, there's all sorts of amazing links uh. that you can use. And my personal, like, one of my most useful ones, Windows C brings up the charms, which brings up a lot of the controls inside of Windows 8. So let's talk about things we want to fix. Here are the, like, the first five things we want to fix in Windows 8. For me, it's the browser. Oh, yeah. uh, Pat and I both run Chrome. You're welcome to run Firefox or Internet Explorer if you prefer. I would just, uh, it, what are you going to do, though? You can just download it and install it. So <laughs> that's a fixable one. <laughs> that's an easy like. fixable one. Number two, so you want to shut down Windows 8. So Windows C brings up the charms. We go down to settings. We get to the power button. And finally, we can shut it down, right? Whew. Windows I is just a little bit quicker, but not much. So you can actually create a power button. People were doing that with Windows RT. You navigate Ooh. to the desktop. You right click on the desktop. This I want. Yeah, well, we've got something better on this one. So we right click on the desktop. We go to new, and we go to shortcuts, and we type in enter shutdown slash s uh, slash t and a zero. S. Space uh, slash T. T. You know what? Forget this. This is a ridiculous <laughs> thing to do, right? The, it, trust me. If you want an easy button to shut down Windows, you just miss the old start button and its features, you need Classic Shell. Classic Shell net. So oh look down in the corner of Windows here. First of all, let me let me kill this shortcut window here. I'm making that shortcut. But though. this is amazing. It's an excellent open source program. It's been around for a while. It offers, quote, a collection of features that were available in older versions of Windows but were later removed. The best part, though, is it has actually customizable start menu. First of all, the best thing actually in Windows 8 is that it gives you the shutdown button exactly where you want it. Nice. Okay? <laughs> it also adds a toolbar for Windows Explorer, and there's a whole bunch of other features built in there. So you can actually go in and you can customize it and set it up exactly how you want it to. So you can make it look like Windows Classic, Windows XP, Windows Vista 7. Um, I like and you the can fact start that it's tweaking free stuff. <laughs> yeah. and easy. You can skin it based on exactly how you want it to look. Seriously, download it and run it right now, because it solves two of the biggest problems like people face. They miss the Start button, and they want an easy way to shut down. So get Classic Shell and install it on your system immediately. Uh, Full screen Metro apps. You actually love the sports news app. I, I th that's that news reader in general. The first thing in the morning, it seems to populate with quite a bit of stuff. And I'm, I'm kind of a news junkie, so I really don't mind that. I like this news interface. It's actually quite clean. And notice it's just not jammed full of ads. I think that's probably my favorite thing about <laughs> it. And I, I don't, I can't really comment on the specific content quality or anything like that, but it's, it's not a, it's not, you know. I'm not complaining about it. <laughs> but it's, so. a, it's a pretty neat way. To, it's kind of a very magazine kind very. of format on that. I the like problem the, is the is cleanliness you, of it. When you get into stuff like, you know, you want to view a photo, or what was killing me was PDFs, right? Oh. PDFs locking into a full screen mode was driving me nuts. I installed Fox at Reader, which made you laugh, because uh, Robert just sets Chrome <laughs> as your default PDF reader. I, I do. But it sounds really silly, but right, when you, when you get into Metro apps, the big thing about Metro apps is bang, they're full screen. They take up your entire page. If you're trying to cut and paste uh, between an email or PDF file, totally. the Metro app's going to drive you nuts. So you know, set the set your PDF reader to Chrome or to a third-party application. Tweak those file associations. That, that stuff's yeah. still there. And you'll want to do the same for email tools and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty interesting. Now, if you want the sort of feel of Windows 8 on a tablet, the idea of you're, you're using the gestures, because this is really a gestures-based operating system. Lloyd Case is going to join us next week with a pile of new laptops and tablets built around Windows 8. On the desktop, I'm actually enjoying Logitech's. Uh, oh. came up with some really cool uh, I devices. I want one of those. First up, the Logitech <laughs> T650 wireless rechargeable touchpad. Yes. Uh, it's got their glass touch surface, and it handles Windows 8 uh, gestures like scrolling, pinch to zoom, and stuff like that. So I can bring up the charms by going them from the right. I can, you know, pinch to zoom, operating in real time. Of course, I've got my mouse here, and I've got full gestures. So it's a really nifty feature. And if I want to bring in the charms, I just swipe from the corner. If, it, uh, you know, if, if the whole idea of having a giant touchpad does not appeal to you, and it is uh, USB wireless, wireless and it's USB rechargeable, this is the Logitech's T400 Zone Touch mouse. There's a glass button, basically. Uh, I can launch the Start button, and it does vertical, vertical and horizontal scrolling. 
Uh, and the really sick one. Neat. And when I say sick, I mean super fancy. Um, and, and it'll take a little getting used to. This is the T620 touch mouse. Uh, it turns the, the entire surface of the mouse is a glass touch surface. So if you go into... It looks like an alien egg. So basically, depending on where you touch the mouse, left click, right click, middle click, uh, horizontal and vertical scrolling back and forward, then you can actually pull up the start screen, swipe from the side, switch applications, show it on the desktop. It's really crazy, right? Because essentially, the entire surface of this mouse is a touch screen. So how am I going to add touch, touch capability to my 24-inch monitors? <laughs> Something like that, I think. Yeah. Not a screen. No. Touch pad. Exactly. <laughs> so this is, these are actually slick. And this is some of the opportunities for hardware uh, that are coming along Windows 8. Like we mentioned next week, Lloyd Case is going to be on looking at some of the new tablets and notebooks. Indeed. All right, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Backups are a lifesaver when disaster strikes your computer, but they can't help if you haven't backed up. That's why you should be backing up right now with Carbonite Online Backup. Carbonite Online Backup is automatic cloud backup for the computer files at your home office or your small business. You set it up once and Carbonite will protect your computer files so that you can stay focused on running your business and running your life. No extra hardware is required. You, you, look, you set it up, you forget it. With Carbonite, getting lost files back is easy too. You can even access backed up files on a smartphone or an iPad with a free Carbonite app. I know you've heard this a million times, but seriously, Carbonite is the better backup plan for your home office or small business. Start your free trial at Carbonite.com and use the offer code TechZilla today and score yourself two bonus months if you decide to buy. That's Carbonite.com and the offer code for two bonus months is TechZilla.